is a talk focus for Frico Talks the News on Thursday, May 14, 2020. I am Frico with Frico.com. If all goes well, this is going to be a short focus. We'll see. Musk conscripts Tesla Army. That's going to be our top focus. But I want to speak briefly about how we got some of the stories that we got for our top focus because it's 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 it comes in part from pioneeringnews.com you go to pioneeringnews.com and let's just there's a couple of latest links that are on pioneeringnews.com across china uh, repairers breathe new life into ancient murals ancient shape-shifting vampire demon anchovy had sober saber tooth and fangs Microscopic feather features explain why these terrifying, dangerous birds shine. And Reddit to launch Ethereum-based tokens for cryptocurrency at Fortnite subreddits. These are just some of the news links that you'll find on pioneeringnews.com, which is in part where I get the stories that lead to the, to the stories I pick for our focuses for the day. And here is our top focus. Musk conscripts Tesla Army. So I have been, for a while now, strongly opposed to the whole shutdown palooza we've all been experiencing during Coronavilles with my one giant caveat being that while I support people having the choice to risk Coronavilles and open businesses and go back to work, I also support supporting people that choose not to risk coronavirus and open business or go back to work. And apparently, Elon Musk has no problem arranging for a de facto conscription Tesla army to protect the army of benevolence. His marketing <coughs> would suggest to you that he represents. <coughs> He's let his dependents know that they can come to work or they can stay home. But they won't be getting any monetary aid, not even for the government, because we've let them know, no so far to go! That's pretty much what he did here. Except this, well, the other guy really meant it too. The soup Nazi really meant it too. Is Elon the soup Nazi? And I, I, I mean it like we meant it for the soup Nazi. I'm not suggesting at all the Elon. Elon is not a Nazi, but the soup Nazi is a soup Nazi. He's a super Nazi. Pretty much. Not so far, y'all! Here's an excerpt from Vice. Elon Musk is offering Tesla workers a deal. Violate California stay home order or don't get paid. I think that might be past that point now. I don't think he's dealing with it in that way, but it doesn't really matter. Even without, even if California stay at home. See, that's my problem with this. And this is it's the responsibility. Within your nation state parameter, my 99% neighbors that want nation statism, and I'm not trying to end it, I can't. Within the nation state parameters, one of the most, one of the key legitimizations of government is in times of apocalyptic crisis, the government will take care of us. And the government is the one that says, we's all going to die if we go to work. And so people rightly have an expectation that they are facing. Now, I don't believe that they are, but that doesn't matter. I don't know that they're not right. I could die of coronavirus. I don't know if I've been exposed to it. I'm in, I wouldn't say a high, high risk, but a somewhat risk. I'm over 50. I have some degree of high blood pressure. I've got, I don't have any super, but I'm in a somewhat risk. I could die of coronavirus. People healthier and younger than me have died of it. And if I died, I, I would hope that my last breath would be, I don't regret anything I said because I don't believe I would, even if I died of it, regret when I say, based on what I understand, I don't think coronavirus is it's it's more than the flu. It warranted a measure of what we have done, but we have gone far beyond practicality. And I believe that the powers that be darn well know this. And I believe Elon Musk knows this like he might really know this, not because he's smart, just because he has the 
the the means to have access to the type of raw data that we don't have access to. All we get are filtered data, and the filtered data is being disseminated to us by 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 liars. All almost everyone is lying to you, or if they're not lying to you, they're like me. The best that I can offer to you is some degree of 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 effort to give you a, an analysis of the lies. But mind you, not everything they say is lies. Most of what they say is true. 85 or more percent of what they say is true. But the lies are in the areas that matter most. The lies that convince people that they're risking way more than they are if they go to work. You did this. So you are responsible to take care of these people and not force them to, by their perception, risk their lives and their families' lives by going to work when they could they could do just fine on unemployment in some instances better then let them on unemployment elon who the heck are you just because you even if you know that you know that you know you know that they can't know are you that stupid elon that you don't realize that you know you should know that they can't know and i'm not saying that you do you could be wrong i don't know what he knows but just say, just say in this hypothetical, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he knows. I don't care if he knows that he knows that he knows that he's true. No, you can't do this. This is coercive. You are using the state to to conscript an army. And I don't care what your reasoning is. I don't care if you if you think whatever vehicle of power that you've decided to adopt to help you justify this. To give you a reason to create a conscription army because that's what you've done. You've created a conscription army. And I am for the workers here. I and this is this is why you have this is what what workers have been seeing during this. This is why the message of the left is and I I know the 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 message of the left, I I'm not I'm not on their side. Uh trust me i'm not i'm not on their side any more than i am the right I've, I've long explained why that is but the but the message of the left is so much more appealing right now to the workers because what especially workers in large scale systems like in amazon and walmart and all and all the chains of grocery stores and all what are all so many of these workers looking at and realizing is when push comes to shove People will just shove us into the front lines like body bags and not give up. That's the message that the world has sent to our workers. Now, the shrilleries of the left, they've, they've helped create a climate that gives the workers, I think, a reasonable justification to fear going to work because of all the crap that the everything about the left is every opportunity that you can to dismantle what is. You grab that opportunity. And that's 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 simply what you're seeing. Well, I won't get into that. I'll have more more than ample opportunities, and I've already spoken somewhat on it. But I'll just leave it at that. So, as you can tell, this thing this thing is a challenge. Was a challenge. If I was gonna if I was gonna lose my opportunity to get closer to 21 days in a row or 21 shows in a row without freaking out, it was this story. This is why the right, the right is so tone deaf. You do not understand. And what's more is so many people on the right are these same workers. Again, it's, it's the poors that are turning on the poors. The right is turning on the, the they're, they're enabling this type of thug, thuggery for workers. But the left is enabling this type of thuggery against owners and business managers and even workers, workers who for their own reasons have decided that, no, I don't believe it's as much of a threat and I want to go to work. They are restricting them. Everybody is 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 using government guns to try to force their sure view of the world and everyone else with no no thought to the consequence against one another. We are one another. We poors are one another. Apparently, Elon Musk has no... Well, this is from them, not me. Apparently, Elon Musk has no problem arranging for a de facto... Con oh, no, this is me. That's right. I did write this. What am I saying? Yes, of course. I'm glad... Yes, of course this is me. They, do, they wouldn't write this. They should call it a de facto conscription army, but they didn't. 
Uh, so this is from someone named Ryan, Ryan Mack. Here's an email must sent to Tesla factory workers at 12.55 a.m. highlighting the extremely honorable task of making electric cars during the country shelter in. If you do not feel comfortable coming to work, you can stay home and will be on unpaid leave. An email obtained by the Guardian from Tesla's management workers. Right now, here's where it, this is the part here. This is the part. I'm gonna. I'm first. I'm gonna read it. I'm going to read it and then I'm going to translate it into blood and bone. Ready? Choosing, choosing not to go. Wait. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to talk like. Hello. Hello. Uh. So, uh, choosing not to report to work may eliminate or reduce your eligibility. Sure, sure, sure for unemployment, depending on your your states. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, unemployment agency, huh? Huh? Not so funny, you That's that's what that is. Grabbing the reel into cut and paste literally out of the air. That's grandma, 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 grandma was. See a tasty catch. Not that grandma was tasty. Just you'll see. I, I thought about shit. I, never mind. I went with it. I carried through with the commitment. It's, we're doing this. See a tasty catch a tasty. A visual tasty, that is. And you are catching that visual tasty in a digital storehouse where you can pull it out again and again, cutting and pasting that visual tasty on anything you like. Grandma's are got a poop face. Now that becomes a 3D printed Chia Pet for family members this Christmas. That's right. You see Grandma there. It's like, I got a poop. Wait, I'm going to make this bigger, right? Huh? Not too big. There you go. I got a poo. Oh, snap. And then later, Grandma opens up her Christmas gift, and it's this. And and she can grow plants out of her, her frontal areas. And she can do like a little thing. You can like have like spider plants growing out. And then on her head, she could have more some stupid spider plant thingies. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, I would, I would love that chia pet. I would love that chia. Yeah, come on, you tell me you wouldn't want that chia pet. Now that becomes a 3D printed chia pet for family members this Christmas. You can see the potential, the surreal, the sublime. See, that's where my head went to right away. Wait, what is weird, sublime, bizarre out there? Uh, yeah. The lulls. And yes, the useful with this beta level app called AR Copy Paste. This is from Venture Beat. AR Copy Paste uses AI to transfer real objects into productivity apps. Currently in an invite only beta. Invite only beta. Invite only beta. You know what? Just as a, a highlight of the absolute abysmal failure of my utter worthless life, I think that it's appropriate for me. I'm going to put this up here right now. Right now. I'm going to just put it up here. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it black, just black with nothing else, no frills. Just no, no. I'm gonna make it red. I'm gonna make it red with no frills. Yeah, red, red, like a stamp, like a stamp of disapproval. <sighs> Here it is. There it is, lady, ladies, gentlemen, and days, and all of you, everyone, all of humanity, all the humanity. There it is. Invite only. Beta. I should be using this right now. I should be using this. Oh, imagine if you could. Never mind. Never mind. I was going to go blue. Way bluer than the grandma thing. The grandma thing wasn't blue at all. If you if you found anything blue in that, shame on you. That was pure fun and heart heartfelt. Good, good, wholesome fun. Okay, currently invite only. This still lets me know. See, if I was a winner, I would be one of these people. But since I'm not, I'm a loser. I have a failure. Thank you. Thank you, Cyril. Cyril Diognes. AR copy paste. Thank you, Cyril. You make me feel good about myself. Just kidding. I'm fine. Everything's fine. 
can be held up to plants, clothes, books, magazines, and other physical objects using a seemingly simple interface to snap a photo of each item before transferring it to an identified space in an open document. The user can simply point their Android phone or iPhone at the real object, wait a few seconds for the object to be identified in its background, automatically removed using machine learning, and then point at the place on the computer screen where the digital facsimile should be pasted. Dude, you can literally just use your phone. You like you point your phone. You're like, <laughs> Grandma poop face. <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know what? Hold on. That was my phone unplugging, but it was worth it. All right. <laughs> so it'd be like, hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, hey, grandma, what you doing? Uh, what you doing there, grandma? Standing in the, standing in the, what the, I got poop. Oh, my gosh. Click. Oh, great. And, then, and now I'm going to, I'm going to send. All right. There instantly. Instantly. That's what I saw in the hallway just now. And then you click on it, and then that's Grandma. See how that works? That is a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want so many. So many. Oh, you're, you're, you're driving along, and you see a really, really awesome, super awesome car thingy, hybrid, bizarre Rolls Royce Yugo combination with with nuclear missiles on the back and you're like that actually exists zip zip what hold on then it's uh zip zip and then and then it's right there in your little 3D printing it and then and then you and then you're playing with it not that I would play with such things I don't play with toys. No one plays with toys. Not even children anymore. No one plays with anyone, anything. Everybody just types and emojis and 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 video loops. Just video loops. We're all just video loops at this point. And that's the end of this segment. The focus also reached the halfway point of the show. So you'll have to wait till the uh, 5:30 p.m. show to hear the news poem and the news poem is going to be it is uh, making my digital figure out on its own figure it out on its own that's a poem for clara of course i think i think you all knew that and i never did change to this point here this is where i should have shifted to this is making that's that's the news poem coming up but listen folks don't forget to tip your Frico at Frico.com slash tip. Or you can go to Frico.com, find a big old orangey yellowy button and click on that and send me a gazillion dollars. No, 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 nothing expected in return other than my warm heart of joy of thanks. That's it. And then quickly I'll forget that someone sent it to me and I'll find a way to make it that, well, of course, the universe owed this to me and then I'll not even appreciate it i'm just kidding of course i'll appreciate it i will appreciate it will all right we'll see you at 5 30 or yeah 5 30 i think yep 5 30 and if you're watching live you don't have to wait that long 